Giannis, uh, 47 minutes. We know Coach Kidd always jokes about he'll play you 48 minutes, but he almost did tonight, 47 minutes. How tired were you, and how did you fight through it to be able to help lead that comeback in the fourth quarter? I was, I was, uh, I was extremely tired, but I was just motivated by my teammates and uh, the fans and the crowd. Uh, you know, you got to be tired. You know, it's a playoff, and... I just was thinking in my mind, do whatever it take until my team wins. So I was just fighting through it, you know, not just me. I was, everybody was tired. Delhi was tired. Chris was tired. Chris was, was feeling great. But, you know, I'm really proud of them. I'm really proud of my teammates and the coaching staff. I think they did a great job all year. And uh, especially my teammates uh, and tonight, they fought, they fought all game long and uh, especially all season. So. Not just me, I wasn't tired at all. Everybody was tired, but we, we fight through it. Giannis, down here. Uh, can you take us through the range of emotions tonight? Down 25, what's going through your head at that moment? And then as the Bradley Center is rocking, as you guys come back, what's going through your head at that time? You know, down 25, uh, you, you do not want to play the last game of your season and losing by 25. So we're thinking, no, you know, we got to fight through, we got to play through it. And, uh, you know, they can be up by 25, but we're going to fight through it. And uh, we did. The guys, uh, Jet helped a lot. Moose coming off the bench, uh, they did a great job uh, contributing. But we, ne we never put down our heads. And uh, that, that was our goal for tonight, that whatever happens, even if we're up 10, up 20, down 20, we're going to keep fighting, keep playing hard. And that's what we did tonight. But... Unfortunately, uh, we end up short. Giannis, in your final possession, you right back here. At your final possession, the dunk with three seconds left, they were face guarding you. You were look, you're looking for a three there. You took the two. You took the dunk. Did you realize how much time was left on the clock? Can you tell us talk about that? Uh, we, were, we were looking for a we were looking for a three. Um, but yeah, I supposed to go. I supposed to go a, a little bit earlier. Because uh, I had a lane to go at first, but I didn't because we were looking for the three. And then I decided to go, but I think uh, I was supposed to go earlier and uh, try to get a quick two. If we don't have a three, try to get a quick two, but earlier, so we can have uh, more seconds in the clock, on the clock. Giannis, back over here. Uh, fourth quarter, you get the assignment of DeRozan, and, and that was kind of the first time this series that we've seen you get him one-on-one. -on -one. Um, what was that test like? What was that challenge like to try to cover him in the fourth quarter as you guys are making that comeback? Um, we was matching up well in the fourth quarter, so I had to, I, I had to guard uh, DeRozan. Um, great player, uh, tough to guard player. Um, I think he did, he did a great job making the right plays and um, just did a great job making the right plays down the stretch. Oh, when Jay Chen from Chekong, Taiwan, Yan, down here. you have a great season this year. And what do you think you learned the most from this, the whole season and the playoff? I think I learned the most. Um, it's, you know, uh, to be great in this league, to make a team great, it's, gonna be, it's not going to be easy. No, it's it's gonna be hard to win. It's gonna be hard to lose. They're gonna be ups ups and down. But the thing I learned is just you still gotta lead your team, and no matter what, you gotta be more vocal. And uh, I think uh, the team we did a great job. You know, keep fighting through the whole season. And uh, for me, uh, I just the thing, as I said, it's not gonna be easy. It's never gonna be easy to win to go deep in the playoffs. So that's what I'll do next year. Hopefully I can be prepared and uh, hopefully my team can be better prepared so we can go deeper in the playoffs. Giannis, how tired were you when you had to go to the foul line? You kept, I think in one stretch, you got fouled three straight times there when you went to the hoop so hard. How tired were you? Chris too, we know it wasn't feeling well. Missed some free throws that he would usually make, uh, but but how did it affect you at the line specifically? Well, you know, I was tired. Uh, not supposed to knock those free, free throws down, but uh, you 
I'm not, I'm not mad at myself because I'll be, I'll be working all year, yelling uh, the free throw line, free throw line shots, and Chris the same. Uh, but for sure, Chris was tired too. Uh, he played 42 minutes. Was he feeling great? So. Yeah, and all the great players, some of the great players who played this game said they've always you know, used the summertime to work on maybe one portion of their game to get great at. Is there any one or two things you want to really work on over the summer to take your game to that next level? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, just uh, being more vocal and being more talkative and lead, leading my team, that's going to come because I'm going to grow older. I'm going to be more mature next year. Uh, but the two, uh, the two specific things that I want to work this summer is uh, getting stronger and uh, being able to knock down open threes and open shots. That's it. Giannis, as you guys are making that run, it, it was just turnovers and, and stops and 24-second violations. And it just seemed like you guys were kind of in that zone where you're moving on a string. And that's what we always talk about when the defense is really going. Is, is that? what it felt like to you guys, too, that really no matter what you were doing, you were going to make the, the right decision in that moment? Yeah, we were feeling good. We were feeling good about, about ourselves. Uh, we were playing great the, uh, in defense, and uh, we just we were just moving the ball in offense and uh, feeling good. And I think we came back because we stopped thinking that we're going to come back in one possession. You can't come back in one possession. you got to keep fighting through it and keep playing hard for two minutes at a time. and. That's what we did tonight. That's why we were able to come back. When we had Jason up here, we were talking about Jet and Delhi in the fourth quarter and the defensive pressure that they were able to apply in their leadership. As, as someone, a young guy trying to learn how to be a better leader, were those two kind of your example and how you come back in the fourth quarter and how you fight? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think both of them did a great job in the fourth, uh, not just in this game, all, all year long. Uh, I've never seen... I've never seen guys talk more than Jet and uh, Delhi. I've never seen that. Uh, no matter if we're down, no matter if we're up, they always try to lead. They always talk to us, and I think they help everybody this year. They help Malcolm, they help Tan, um, Tony, me, uh, Chris. You know, and it's just great having them on the court, especially you know when they're down the stretch when the game is becoming tougher. It's always great to have them on the court. Giannis, I know after game two in Toronto over here, you said that you felt like the Raptors, you, know, you got their attention. Do you guys feel like you kind of got the NBA's attention with what you guys were able to do down the stretch? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, you know, nah, I'm not going, you know, I'm not going, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, we thought we, we thought we were the better team. We thought we could be able to, uh, you know, beat, beat the Raptors and uh, go to the second round, but at the end of the day, we we fought, and uh, as I said, we got the Raptors' attention, and I think we got the NBA, NBA attention. Hopefully, next year we can work on our game and our team habit, and come prepared for the regular season, and uh, hopefully, we can go with different players. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. See you guys next year.